Ah, the first day after a wonderful, wonderful NASA tweet up. <sighs> at least it's not a work day. At least it's just a Saturday. So we're I'm on my way over back over to uh, Chiz's house. We've got some ideas of brewing. We need to work this out. So whilst I was over at Aaron's house, uh, we were filming a video for Danielle for her channel. And I was going to show you guys the behind the scenes of what goes on to a Oh Yeah It's Danny uh, film. But she had to use my camera. So I couldn't like... Here's the behind the scenes of, with my camera. Uh. And now here's an interesting question for you guys, the, the tech gurus out there that know their iPhones frontwards and backwards. Uh, I started to jailbreak, Aaron's brother found an iPhone and he's like, oh, I wanna use it on T-Mobile. So I was like, all right, fine, I'll jailbreak it and unlock it. Um, I started to jailbreak it, I got it jailbroken and it's just a regular 3G and it was running 4.1. This is all the people that are like not techie Apple people are like, what is he talking about? It was running 4. iOS 4.1 and so I jailbroke it. Uh, what did I use? Like uh, Red Snow. And it was jailbroken, but I think it was a tethered jailbreak because it, it had a hard time restarting every time. But I couldn't get it unlocked using Ultra Snow. Um, and so I was like, all right, we'll, we'll figure it out later because I didn't want to do it last night. And so I was coming back today and I was like, hey, let me let me work on that phone. He's like, oh, I tried it. I tried to do something with it. And he ended up breaking the phone. And so I spent today trying to figure out how to unbrick it. But it is pretty darn bricked. I, like I've done a lot of different things to it to try to point it in the right direction to figure it out so that it can say like, okay, don't go to Apple, go to, to Cydia or, or whatever. And the, it, I couldn't get it to get done, so is there like a program out there that I can just plug the phone into it and it's like, oh, fixed. You guys know? That was a lot of like talking about iPhones that a lot of people are like, uh, unsubscribe. Look at how awesome the sky looks tonight. Oh man, I wish you guys could see this like in real life because it looks way more epic than it does on camera. Oh, it's so cool looking. Man, oh man. There you go, it's being filmed through some polarized lenses. That is awesome looking. Let me ask you guys something. How many of you guys listen to the radio on a regular basis? And uh, I guess that's really not an answer that you guys can give me. So if you guys listen to the radio on a regular basis, how do you deal with the people that are, or the the songs that they play over and over and over again? Like I've, I've been on a country music kick lately and that's, that's quite normal for me because I like country music a little bit. And here's the thing, I like fast country music i hate hate with a passion slow country music and i really hate girl singers there's like maybe like two or three songs by girl singers that i like but for the most part i loathe girl country music singers i just think that they are they all of their songs are too bleh. like they're not even trying they're just like bleh. i don't and, and, bleh. did i even ask my question like what do you guys how do you what is there, I can't get to Burger King from here? Seriously? Seriously? Why, it's it's right there. Why can't I get there from here? What's going on? Why, why? Is it because Aldi doesn't like to share their parking lot? Sweet, awesome. Thanks, you crazy German place where you have to pay to use your cart. So I found something out. I found out, remember a while ago we were trying to like super freeze liquids? And we couldn't ever get it to happen where it would like instantly freeze when you shook it or something like that. I found out it's because it needs to be carbonated. So I've got some seltzer water here. This is the, the bad stuff. This stuff's from uh, Albertsons. I hate Albertsons. But you're supposed to you're supposed to be carbonated. So we're going to try to freeze one of these. Hopefully it doesn't blow up in the freezer. And we'll see what happens in a couple of hours. Two or three hours. While we're waiting, I say we play a little bit of the old gamey cube. Ha <laughs> ha, Tony Hawk Pro Skater 4. Awesome. All right, so there's already some ice inside of there, but let's see what happens because it's not all 100% ice. Maybe it is 100% ice. I don't know. Let's see what happens when I hit it on the table here. Nothing. No, oh, it's it's ice all the way through and through. Oh wow! Let's see what happens when I open it though. This looks like icy carbonated water. All right, I bought two two liters, so I put the second one in the freezer to see if I can get it to, to, to work better. You see, there it is. It had less bubbles on the outside of the container, 
when I put it in the freezer than the first one did. So we'll see what happens. Try to beat this score. It's been a little bit of time. I don't know if it's had enough time to freeze or not yet, but let's see. Looks like it's already frozen. Oh, it's like frozen solid. Yeah, nothing happened. Oh well, I'll see you guys tomorrow. And now it's time to pay the price.